In this video, we'll take a look at the first option that we've got over here. So, this is account creation, and I'll open it now. As soon as I click it, SE Robot creates the project and automatically names it New Account Creation Project 1. But you can rename it if you want to organize your projects in a certain way. To open it, I'll just double click it, and there it is. At the top, we've got three icons. The first one is Start, and what this does is start the process of account creation or, in some cases, link submission. The second one is the Options icon, which I covered in detail in one of our previous videos. And next, we've got Training, which is the same as the Training icon in the main SE Robot interfaces and it opens the page with training videos. So on the left we've got a list of sites that SE Robot supports. So if we scroll down we'll notice a huge list of sites and there are 125 at the moment of reading. They are all divided into different categories and so we've got social network sites, social bookmarking sites, press release sites, article directory sites, RSS sites, and web profile sites. And here we've got site, PR, status, wait info, and retries. Site is obviously the name of the site then PR represents the page rank for the particular site and the status will display the status of the account creation process once we start creating accounts. Then the wait info will tell us how many more seconds we'll need to wait until the process is done but this is approximate and can never be 100% correct. And lastly We've got tries, which just displays the number of retries. Before we create accounts for these, we need to create an email address. Let's now move on to the right side, and we'll be back to this list soon. On the right, we've got the option to generate random profile information. And if I click this button, it generates new information in just a fraction of a second. Once this information is generated, we need to create a project profile which can be done by clicking this plus button over here. And then just confirming and the account profile information will appear in this drop down box. Now we can click create email address and choose hotmail and SE robot gets to work right away. Here in the status box, you can follow exactly what SE Robot is doing. And if you look at the top, you'll notice that the play button changes to stop. And if you want to stop the process for some reason, you can do so just by clicking this button. So, now that our email account has been created, we need to verify it. This option over here is set to automatically check the emails we've received and verify the registrations. However, if you don't want to wait two minutes, you can go over here to verify emails and verify it right away, manually. The verify emails setting will be auto-filled if you already registered a Hotmail account with our software. However, if you're using another email address that hasn't been registered through our software, you will need to fill in this information yourself and then click Start Verify Emails. Or you can just wait two minutes. The, the reason we implemented this option is because sometimes emails don't get delivered into your inbox right after the registration. So if SE Robot would check for emails right away, chances are 
registrations on some sites won't be confirmed. However, if we delay the verification by two minutes, chances are all emails got delivered correctly. Okay, so now that this is done, we need to register accounts for other sites as well. So if you want to submit to, let's say, web profile and social bookmarking sites, you could select them from this list. And if we scroll down, you'll see that all the sites from these categories are checked. I'll select all sites as I need accounts for all of these submission methods for our next videos. So all we need to do now is click the start button and the process of account creation begins.